an NBC News exclusive, the first television interview with one of the nation's only female four-star generals, Laura Richardson. She's the first woman to lead the U.S. Southern Command, overseeing its mission in Latin America and the Caribbean. I spoke with her at their headquarters in South Florida about her new role and what she views as a growing threat in the region from China and Russia. Inside this U.S. Joint Operations Center, dozens of experts are monitoring an uptick of aggressive behavior. What is that? Illegal, unreported, unregulated fishing. They're tracking Russian and Chinese activity. And what all the red dots are, are symbolized vessels, Chinese vessels. This uh, map of South America, Central America, and, and the Caribbean, this is China's activity in this area. Correct. General Laura Richardson, one of the three female four-star general officers currently serving, leads Southcom, which is responsible for U.S. interests in Latin America and the Caribbean, from its headquarters here outside Miami. And now she's warning Russia and China may soon increase their military presence there. The Russian deputy foreign minister said he could neither affirm or exclude that Russia would send military assets to Cuba and Venezuela. How concerned are you about that possibility? That is right here in our neighborhood, right at our back door, and certainly I'm very concerned about it. As of right now, there are no signs pointing to a replay of the Cuban Missile Crisis. A series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. That 1962 standoff after Russia moved nuclear missiles into Cuba, just 90 miles from Florida. We have not seen any indication of a buildup or any uh, equipment coming to that region. But the connections between Russia and countries like Cuba and Venezuela still run deep. Today's weapons, however, are more economic and psychological. That's what the Russians do. They try to destabilize and undermine the United States and our interests. Are they doing it in Latin America? They're trying. They're trying very hard. Trying, she says, by spreading disinformation through the region, through social media and government-run news channels. And that could help sway elections one way or another or keep dictatorships in power. Absolutely. The larger threat, she believes, is China, which is pumping hundreds of billions of dollars into the region to build desperately needed infrastructure like dams, ports, and cell phone networks. But there's always strings attached. Those strings mean China and the regimes they prop up can now track the activity of their populations. What would that information give them? It allows them to uh, possibly use health care. For example, if you didn't vote a certain way, then you don't get health care, you don't get food. And in their most ambitious move yet, China is building 29 new ports in 17 different countries. Absolutely alarming. I worry about dual use of all of the projects that they are putting in place. Most of these companies from uh, China are state-owned enterprises controlled by the government and so can easily be converted or transitioned into a military use if necessary. A conversion like that would mean that China suddenly went from zero military bases in Latin America to dozens. Are we paying in the United States enough attention to Latin America, Caribbean, South and Central America? I call it our neighborhood, and I think we could pay a little bit more attention to it. General Richardson believes the U.S. doesn't need to outspend Russia or China, but we need to continue to build our relationships. So she travels to the region once a week to meet with leaders. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.